Hey everyone, this is David Sito from 3D Roundhouse. I'm here with my daughter, Elizabeth. Hi! Hi. So it's the start of 2018 and I want to create a series of video for Fusion 360 so that you can create your own 3D prints. So Elizabeth, what is 3D printing anyway? Um, 3D printing is when you draw something on a computer and 3D print it out. Right, so do we have any 3D prints that we can show everyone? Yeah. So, so what do we have? This is a rocket. Ooh, this is nice. Pia. Ooh. What else? This is a house. Ooh, you very... even can play giant house. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. This is the quest of a wall. Guess. Oh, it's a 3D spin? Fidget spinner. Oh, it's a 3D printer. I know, some spinner. I know some girls and boys like it. I also like it. Oh, also okay, spin. very good. Okay, so great. So we're going to start a series of videos, uh, beginning with this one, and I'll see you at the end of it. Hey, everyone. This video is going to cover navigation in Fusion 360. Before I begin, I just want to show you this bicycle that was created using Fusion 360. When you take into consideration all the parts and all the assemblies and all the components and even the animation that went into making this model, it's very clear Fusion 360 is pretty sophisticated and quite complicated. But don't worry, we're going to show you the most basic tools so that you can begin to create your own 3D models. And over time, as you learn more shortcuts and as you become more comfortable with the software, your own models are just going to naturally get more and more sophisticated, just like this bicycle. So let's get started. One of the first things that you'll need to know is when you create a box, it asks you which plane do you want to put the box on. There's the plane in the front. The plane on the back and this plane on the bottom here. So we'll just pick the bottom plane and we'll click the first corner and just drag it out here. We'll give it a height of 50 as well and you can see here 50 50 50 it's a new body and I just hit OK. So the navigation tools for Fusion 360 are located here and down here. So we're just going to cover the basics this is the view cube. It's pretty straightforward. If you click top, it takes you to the top. You can rotate it down. You can use these arrows to go clockwise and counterclockwise. And you can press the home key and it takes you home. You can also put your cursor inside the cube. Click and hold. You can orbit your model. And let's recenter by clicking the home key. Down here, there's another orbit tool. You can click. When you click this orbit tool, you get this double ellipse. You click and hold. You can orbit again. But if you look along this line here, this curved line here, your double ellipse turns into this circle. If you click and hold, you can go clockwise and counterclockwise. Follow this line and you'll come across a little cross, a cross line here. Your cursor turns to this circular arrow. You click and hold that and you can rotate left and right. So these are the three functionalities of this orbit tool. Hit escape to get out of this orbit. Next is look at. And let's say I want to look at this face. I click this and it takes me straight there. Pan is pretty straightforward. Click it, you get a hand. You click and hold, you can go left, right, up, down, and diagonal. Hit escape to get out of pan. Zoom. Click zoom. Click and hold. Zoom out, zoom in. If you have a mouse, you can use the scroll wheel for the same thing. And that's navigation for Fusion 360. Okay, so that was our very simple introduction to 
Fusion 360 using navigation, okay? It's a lesson that I teach at her school to 10 year olds. So if they can do it, I think you can do it too. So give it a try. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, what? Because you are a grown up. You are a grown up. Uh, okay. The people who are watching are it. The people who's watching. Are grown ups? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, grown ups. If the kids can do it, you can do it too. Give it a try. See you next time. Yeah, bye.